Before completing the final details, it's important that I cut the sculpture off of the armature and hollow it out. If the sculpture is solid, there could be some drying problems, and when it comes to firing, it may crack or even explode. So let's figure out where we're going to cut it in half. I don't want to cut it somewhere where there's going to be an obvious detail. It's always possible that wherever you cut it, a scar will be left behind. So I could either cut somewhere where I'm going to add a texture later on and that will hide it. I could cut somewhere like along the hairline or behind the ear, somewhere where that scar will be hidden if it pops out later on. I'm pretty much just going to cut this thing in half. I know that there is a wooden stick inside of here and the armature hanger is somewhere inside of here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a knife. This clay is fairly soft. You don't want to do this when the clay is too soft. That would defeat the point of the armature. But you also don't want to wait and do this when the piece is too stiff. You'll never get it off. It's a good idea to think about what's going to happen to the piece once you cut it off. If you were to cut too far to the back, this might break back here. Same thing if I were to cut too far up front. I'm just going to pry this apart carefully. And I was keeping in mind where that stick was, so I just happened to go into it. Be mindful that depending on how long this piece was on the armature, you may have a little bit of mold on the wood. Now that I have this, depending on how soft or stiff, you want to be careful on how you put it down. I want to maintain this edge to be exactly the same for when I put it back together. But I also want to think about cradling this thing when I put it down. Now to get this piece off of the armature, I want to think about where the armature is and how thick I'm going to leave the piece. I want this to be about a half of an inch thick to one inch thick. A half of an inch is about the thickness of your pinky and one inch is about the thickness of the knuckle of your thumb. Um, right over here, I just about have a half inch, so I'm going to go ahead and trace, kind of like a watermelon rind, I'm going to trace that silhouette, and I'm going to hollow this piece out so I can see where that armature is going to go. Now, I know this is pretty much just a straight stick, so I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can cut that out. I'm thinking about the sculpture on the other side. I don't have a lot of room. Even though I planned out the armature having plenty of room in the neck, it looks like I may have shifted it over a little bit. So I'm going to have a thin spot here in the neck that I'm going to want to fill up. That armature is right here. It's about an inch thick. And so I can see that I have very little. So I'm going to be very careful when I pull this off of the neck. It looks like I got pretty close here, but this clay is so soft that I can still fix it. Removing that clay hanger can be a little tricky. Now I'm going to go ahead and scoop some of this clay out. Traditionally, I'd use a clay loop tool, but I'm just going to try to do it with a knife and a popsicle stick. I'm going to get a sense of how far I can go towards the chin by putting the knife at a particular angle and then putting that inside. Now, I should be able to go all the way up until the mark of my thumb until I pop the knife out. So I know that I can sink it almost to my thumb with about an inch before. It's good to look at where the knife is going in and where you're aiming towards at the same time. That will prevent you from popping a hole out. Common places that you end up cutting a hole in a human face is just here at the eyes, because that's the furthest part in, and sometimes just here at the nostril and just here at the lip. I've cut a little plug of clay that I've scored and slipped, and that should fill the void created by the armature. So now you can see that the inside void is a smaller version of the outside of the form. You don't have to make it super thin, as you can see. Even though this is a fairly small sculpture, I've left this thickness about an inch thick. Now the other piece. So 
So I'm going to remove all of this material. Now I can go ahead and score and slip both halves back together. I want to make sure to put the two pieces exactly where they went before. Force those two halves together, work clay into the seam, and force the slip out. Make sure there's no voids. I'm also going to add a coil of clay right into this seam. If the clay that you cut out was soft enough, you can use that. If not, get a fresh piece of clay. I'm going to work that clay into the gap and take off the excess. So now the piece is off the armature. I can decide if I want to add anything else to it. But most importantly, I can start to refine the piece without worrying about doing any damage to some of the fine details.